Wow, this is a site that I've actually really always wanted to see and it's the Naru Pride on the main dam wall. They're all spread out here. I can just see one of the males up at the moment. Okay, so finally we've we've got some progress on the Imperi Pride situation. So we've got eight members here. Um, it looks like it's the young open male, young open female, and then all three of the younger cubs, the two males and the female cub. So the other day on the on the last episode before the previous one. We had obviously five members and then the next day we went out and we got another two which gave us seven and um, it seems as though out of those five or out of the seven that we'd seen I think three of those members weren't, weren't present at the time, three or four of them so we have a good idea that I think most of the pride are still around and have all made it and I don't think anyone's gone missing or died in the, in the crossfire of the last few weeks of whatever's been going on. Unfortunately, we'll never really know what's happened in terms of the dynamics and what went on in Kruger for the last, I'd say, close to two weeks of Imbiri Pride missing. But we're just really glad that they're back now and we'll take, we'll take eight of them. It's not everyone and we'd love to know where everyone is, but I'm hoping that this is the start of them coming back and filtering back into their original territory. The only concern is, of course, that they... Um, they are lacking pride males at the moment with Nchila and Mandevu gone. I don't know whether they're gone for good or if they've gone off on a territorial patrol. But with them being gone, they are vulnerable. And um, this is these next few weeks to come are going to be very interesting, exciting and very intense. Um, because with males gone, word does get out, senses in the air, presence or a lack of presence from males. Other young males might come in and, and see the opportunity. So we'll have to, we'll have to see how that story plays out. Okay, so this is really epic. So we've come down to Main Dam to try and relocate the Naru's and we've just bumped the most playful pack of wild dogs. Look at that. All just running around here close to Main Dam. Full of energy. They're obviously getting ready to go and hunt now this afternoon. Wow, look at them go. They're just having such a blast there. Talk about getting lucky this afternoon. We had the Imberis, they've come back. And obviously the wild dogs are always fun to have around. I think some of these ones could actually be youngsters, if I'm not mistaken. They look like adults. So it is quite worrying because this pack is in really close proximity to where the Naru's are supposedly hanging around. Um, so let's see, maybe we might get a bit of a lion wild dog interaction. I hope not for their sake. It is getting dark and obviously wild dogs are a lot less sort of fortunate at, at night compared to lions. So... Hopefully they don't get into too much trouble. Okay, so these dogs have had their fun there on the trot now. We're going to turn around and I think we're going to maybe try and get them on one of the roads here. But they're heading straight towards the direction of where the Naru's are, so... Let's see what happens as it gets a little bit darker. So 
I had to stop and turn around. Couldn't miss this opportunity. Look at this beautiful elephant bull. He's got such a beautiful pair of tusks on him. Now we drove past him and we obviously on our way down to Main Down to try and see if we can relocate the the dogs or the narus and I just saw him his head poking out of a bush and I thought hang on this could be some good filming it's a, quite a spectacular subject to film this early in the morning Wow, this is a site that I've actually really always wanted to see and it's the Naru Pride on the main dam wall. They're all spread out here. I can just see one of the males up at the moment. Okay, so we've come around to the other side of Main Dam now and we've got one of the Nauru lionesses. Just tilt my camera down for you. And there's a whole herd of impala just here, busy drinking and feeding along the bank of Main Dam. So I don't know if she's going to try to go for it. It has gotten quite hot. But as we know, that doesn't mean anything in terms of the lions at the moment. So they're killing buffalo and zebra in the middle of the day. So maybe we'll be lucky enough to, to witness a hunt here. I sincerely hope that she is going to try it. She's looking very interested. Okay, this is even better news. We've got Red Road lying on the dam. Well, I didn't see him earlier on. He's obviously just come out and emerged. And he's looking magnificent as well. The main's looking good and nice and dark. Yeah, if these lions do kill an impala, I think it will be chaos and it will be finished in minutes with a lot of action. Because of the rest of them here, they'll come charging in and an impala won't last very long to feed 9 or 13 lions. She's slowly moving, slowly edging a bit closer. See, but now she's got a tough, really tough distance to cover because it looks like most of them have actually moved. If they were closer to the dam wall, she has the element of surprise with being on top of the wall. But now that she has to, because now they're all spread out here across the dam, I don't think she's going to try it. That is the legendary Nauru Pride and of course the very famous Red Road Mail. Um, very busy morning, there's lots of water buck and impala around here so we're going to come back here this afternoon and then start a new virtual safari but uh, we'll see you on the next one and I hope you enjoyed that one.